Hi, my name is Megan. I'm a librarian from the Twinnerberg branch of the Mercer County Library, and today we're going to be making beer bread, which is a hearty, dense, um, yeasty and flavor bread. It's, it's very good and you do not need to have yeast to make it. So if you're trying to go to the store and find baking ingredients and you can't find yeast, this is the perfect bread for you. What we're going to do is start with three cups of regular all-purpose flour. Um, if you don't have all-purpose flour, you can use self-rising flour as well. Now, we're gonna use a spoon and our measuring cup and we're going to spoon the flour into the measuring cup. If you take your measuring cup and just scoop, you're gonna really compress the amount of flour in your measuring cup and you're gonna end up with too much flour and a really dense dry bread. So you're gonna to wanna to use your spoon and you're gonna spoon your flour into your measuring cup and then use a flat edge. You can use a, the back of a butter knife. I'm just using a chopstick and level off the top of your flour. And we are gonna use three cups of flour today for one loaf of beer bread. I'm just gonna keep scooping my flour here. If you don't want to use beer or you don't have beer, you don't need to use beer to make beer bread. You can use any kind of unflavored seltzer, or if you don't have seltzer, don't like seltzer, and you want to use or make maybe a sweeter bread, you can use either ginger ale or a Sprite instead. You just some, you need to have something that has that carbonation in it because that's what's going to help our bread rise. level that off and that's our third cup of flour all right so that's three cups of flour for our recipe and then we are going to put in a quarter of a cup of regular white granulated sugar there's our quarter cup okay we're going to use three teaspoons of baking powder now, if you don't have regular flour and you have self-rising flour, you can use your self-rising flour instead. Just omit the baking powder and you're gonna omit the salt from the recipe as well. But if you just have regular all-purpose flour, we're going to use three teaspoons of baking powder. Just three level teaspoons. Now we're going to put in one teaspoon of salt. Okay, and that goes in there as well. Now we're just going to mix together our dry ingredients. So those are all well combined. And now we are going to take our beer or seltzer or Sprite, whichever you prefer to use. And you're going to pour that into your dry ingredients slowly because it's going to bubble up. Okay. And then you're just going to take a spatula or a spoon and you're going to carefully mix everything together. It's going to make a sticky almost um, cake batter consistency that we're after. It doesn't have to be perfectly smooth. There can be a few lumps. We're just gonna mix all of that together. You don't wanna see any dry spots of flour left in your dough. And 
that's that. When everything is mixed together, this is what your dough is gonna look like. It looks like a really just thick cake batter. All right. And you're gonna take that and you're going to just use a regular loaf pan, which we greased, make sure you grease your loaf pan. And then we're gonna put our batter into our loaf pan. Get all of that batter in the bowl and in there. Okay, there we go. And just use your spatula to spread the batter evenly in the loaf pan. And it's gonna be sticky, so you're gonna have to play with it a little bit. Once you've got that batter all nice in your loaf pan, the last ingredient we're gonna use is a quarter cup of melted butter. Put that in the microwave. While I've got that butter melting, I have got a fresh loaf right out of the oven. So I'm gonna turn that out. And this is what our finished loaf of beer bread looks like. It's got a very nice crusty surface and it's dense and it's buttery and it's good. We have our quarter cup of butter that is melted and you're just going to take that and just drizzle it over the top of your uncooked bread dough. And you're going to take that, make sure you have butter everywhere, and then you're going to put that into a preheated 375 degree oven and we're gonna bake that for one hour at 375 degrees. I'm just gonna cut a slice of this bread so everyone can see how good this looks. See, it's nice and crusty. It's still, it's still hot from the oven. Is what our finished product looks like. A nice, yummy, yeasty, sweet loaf of beer bread. And that's our loaf of beer bread. Thank you for watching my video today and I hope you have fun making beer bread in your own kitchen.